Hey everyone, it's Kay Short, and welcome to Short Talk Sunday. Today, we're talking about friendship. And to be completely honest, I'm a sucky friend. I'm not always there when I'm supposed to be there. I'm flaky, I'm always late to events. I schedule y'all into my calendars. I don't put in enough effort. But at the end of the day, I'm really loyal. I always come back, no matter what, whether it's from kindergarten or first grade or just a childhood friend, I always come back and just check in. Even if it's years later, I'll always come back and check in. My whole life, I've always had a lot of acquaintances, but not enough friends. But I would like to think at one time, I was really, I was a really good friend. And while I was writing my notes for this short talk, I was trying to think, I was like, what, what happened? What happened? in my life where I just stopped putting in the effort with people or not putting in enough effort or not being there as much as I used to be. I was writing in, writing, I was getting down to my last few notes and then I realized that at one time I was a good friend and it was in elementary school. I came across this friend. We met in the third grade on the tetherball court. Hated this kid, hated this kid all the way up until sixth grade when we had the same class together. Next thing you know, we became good friends became really good friends. We were the friends that I've always wanted. As I've gotten older, we're the friends you saw us together every single day. You always saw us together. And if you didn't see us together, you would always ask where the other one was. We did everything together. We were spending, you know, every every morning and every night, you know. It was to the point where that person was getting dropped off at my house so we could get a ride to school together. And when we were walking home from school together and taking the bus all across Phoenix, in the summer. Exactly my point. We bonded over music, we bonded over movies, we bonded over so many things until seventh grade happened and I basically got backstabbed. I basically got hurt. I think after that experience, I just didn't want to get hurt again. And I think the same goes for relationships. But the one thing I learned in college is that we are the product of the five people we surround ourselves with. And so if you saw me in college, I was mostly, not necessarily by myself, but I never had a particular group. I was over here and I was always there, I was always here and I was always there, and I was part of this group and I was part of this club and things like that. And yeah, you would see me walk around with them every so often, but a lot of times you just saw me going through the union just by myself. For me, I wanted to be more selective, I guess you can say. I wanted to make sure that I was surrounding myself with people that were gonna bring out the best in me and who were gonna support me and who was gonna tell me like it is. I did get one friend out of college. One good friend, I let, at least you can say. Trust me, there's, there's, there's a lot of you out there that I really, really, really do care about. But one that stuck with me since my first year in college. That person has put up with my crap day in and day out and has seen me grown from, you know, this crazy first year in McConnell Hall and, and to someone who, who's over here just chasing her dreams, has supported me in every decision I've ever made. But I can't say I've, been, I've done the same for this person. But I think at the end of the day, I just want to surround myself with good people. Now that I'm in Phoenix, I just want that core group for the first time. I always, you know, you have all these movies and you have all these TV shows where you have these core groups. You know, you have these different elements that make this group. All I know is that I just want some really good friends. You're gonna stick by my side for the long haul. And I don't want friends that are just, you know, yes people that say yes to everything that I say and say, that's a great idea, that's awesome, that's amazing, Kathleen, what you're doing, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, support me, that's cool, I appreciate it. But I want y'all to like hold me down, you know, especially that I'm going through this transition, especially that I'm going after these dreams. I, it's so easy to be with people that are gonna ride in my limo. You know what I mean? But who's that person who's going to ride with me when the limo breaks down and we got to take the, the public transportation to get to where we need to go? I want those people that are going to challenge me, tell me, nah, that's not a good idea or that's a bad idea or that maybe see it from this point of view. Just tell me that I'm flat wrong, that I am wrong in what I'm doing, you know, and that are just, like I said, at the end of the day, I just want y'all to be loyal. I want them I want them to be loyal in my journey, who's gonna be with me till the end, who's gonna, who's gonna be with me when I, when I rise and who's gonna be with me when I fall. And I wanna be that for others. I wanna be that person. I wanna be a good friend again. I don't want that experience in sixth grade to haunt me forever and to, and to affect my friendships and my relationships for the rest of my life. And so for those of you who have been around, who've stuck by my side, who, who I know that I can call and, or, and who I know that put in an effort, I appreciate you, I love you.
And thank you so much for putting up with my crap. I know that I have a lot of crap. But I think at the end of the day, I just have to learn how to be a good friend again. But I don't know how to be a good friend. But I'm willing to learn. I'm willing for someone to teach me <laughs> that, Ayo, you don't, you don't do that in friendships. That's, that's not what you do. <laughs> you call me once a week or you call me every day or whatever the case is. I know that's something that I need in my life. And I know that's something that I want in my life. Once again, friendship is important. And I know that's important. And it's something that's needed in our lives. And it's something that we don't have. I read something one day that we are one person, just one person away from being lonely. And I'm sure I'm not the only one that feels this way, where we have all these acquaintances. But we just want those true friends that are going to stick by our side. Let's be better friends. Let's put in that effort. Let's not be flaky. Let's try our best to be on time. To not even pull out our schedule when they ask when they want to hang out. I definitely think friendship is, is what makes all the difference in our life. And I can tell you that's what I'm ready for. That's what I want. That's what I need. So for all of you who are good friends out there, just know that you're appreciated. Thank you for sticking by our side. And to thank those that have stuck by our side. And if you do have a good friend out there, or a group of friends, make sure they know that. Make sure that they know that you appreciate them and that you love them. Because otherwise you're gonna end up like me, trying to do it all by myself. So this is Kay Short. Welcome to Short Talk Sunday. P.S. Since I'm in Phoenix and looking for new friends, I am so ready and down to collaborate. I wanna be with those people that are like, hey yo, let's let's spruce up K Short, let's spruce up Short Talk Sunday. I'm looking for people that I can interview. I'm looking for people that we can do some epic-ish together. Let's do some more amazing things. I want Short Talks to be better, to be bigger. I want Short Talks to evolve. And if you're down for that and you wanna help me in that, that's great. I wanna help you in your dreams and what you wanna do too. So if you're seeing this and we don't even know each other and you're just supporting because you're awesome and amazing that way, and you live in Phoenix, then let's meet up. Let's have coffee. At the end of the day, let's meet up. I live very close to Central Avenue. That would be a great meeting spot. And I'm going to be reaching out to a lot of you that are in Phoenix. And hopefully, if you are, reach out to me and let's, let's do something. If there's something on your mind, if there's something that you want to talk about, if there's something that's important to you, let's meet up. Let's hang out. Let's collaborate. Let's do this. But it's time, it's time to go bigger now. It's time to get better. Even if you're a stranger, I, let's do that. That's even better. It's even better if I don't even know you. I mean, don't hurt me. But let's do that. I am so down for this. It's going to get better. Thank you all for sticking with me. Thank you all for supporting me. Thank you all for being patient with me and figuring all of this out. But I do want this to get better. I don't just want you all to watch me do this all the time because it's not about me. It's about you. And it's about us. And it's about all the things that we want to do with our lives. So hit me up, hit me up right now, right now. If you have my number, if you don't have my number, email me and I'll give you my number. It hasn't changed since my second year in high school. Have a good night. Appreciate all of you and I'll see you soon. Bye.